You make a cladogram using this table. Each of the X's on the table represents that species possessing a particular trait. I like to start off with a trait that all of the species have. So in this case, all of the species have cells. So I'm gonna start my line right here or my lineage, and this is going to be the first adaptation of cells. Make the speciation event, and then I'm gonna place the only species that only has cells. In this case, it's going to be worms, and you can see it diverges first. I'm then going to determine what adaptation evolves next. And if we look at our table, the legs evolve next. I'm gonna place legs on the table right here. And I'm gonna to try to find these species that have cells and legs. And if you look at the table, it's spiders. I'm gonna make another speciation event and place spiders here. Then again, I repeat to figure out what the next adaptation is, which is the six legs adaptation. I place the ant here because it has six legs, legs, and cells. And then I find the last adaptation to evolve, which is wings. And I lastly put the fly at the top here since it has cells, legs, six legs, and wings. Remember that these adaptations on the right-hand side here are showing that the species has or possesses that adaptation. For example, the spider has cells and legs, but not six legs, so it's gonna go here. Or in the case of ants, they have cells, legs, and six legs, and they go here. 